What is religion? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christians. On this channel, we do questions about the church as well as original content. Now, what is religion? Webster would say that the definition of religion is the body of persons adhering to a particular set of beliefs and practices. Now, looking at this definition, we see that it is a particular set of beliefs and practices and what we do in churches, mosques, and synagogues today. It is a set of particular beliefs and practices based in that belief. Now, is Christianity a religion? Well, first, let's look at a definition of Christianity. A belief of faith based on the life and teachings of Jesus. Most forms of Christianity hold that Jesus is the Son of God and is the second person of the Trinity through whom humans may attain redemption from sin. And if you want to learn more about sin, you can click the video card above. So, is the Christian church a religion? Well, let's test that idea. First, if you remember, a definition of religion is a structure based on a particular set of beliefs and practices. So, does the Christian church have any of these practices? You have denominations of churches of different beliefs in the Bible. Each operate with different practices based on their beliefs. Each denomination is different. And if you want to learn more about denominations, you can click the video card above. Each Christian church has their own set of rules. When you enter into a church, you must operate on their beliefs. It is that way even though they're all based on the same Bible. Each Christian church has their own identity and practice. Now, if we take that definition of religion into account, the churches themselves have become a religion in itself, even if a church does not recognize it. Now, let me give you an explanation to people who are saying I'm wrong. You say it's about a relationship. So, let me ask you this. If it's based on relationship with Christ, then why don't you have anything to do with other congregations who believe in Christ or the people in it? Why are we silent on Sundays about our Christian brothers and sisters? You say you have a relationship with Christ, but is it really a relationship with the church? Do you really want to unite with Christians? Or are you saying it to make it sound pretty? While we're on the subject of relationship, let's look at a definition of relationship. A connection, association, or involvement. In other words, I do not see much connection between the congregations of the churches and, and its associated pastor. Our pastors are the ones who say this all the time. We're family or we have good relationships in this church. Now, I have noticed that when they say this, it's more of a select few in the congregation and not so much the entire congregation they're talking about. Most of the time, what pastors are talking about is a select or elite group of their church, and that's who they only fellowship with. A definition of elite is a group of persons exercising the majority share of authority or influence within a larger group. Looking at this definition, we see that a group of people have a greater influence on how does this apply to the church, you may ask. I can answer that. It is simple. A lot of churches start off very well with groups, friends, and interacting with one another. Of course, eventually those friends become the elite 
of a church meeting. Then, in some cases, they are the ones that dictate which way the church should go rather than God. Now, we have a lead fellowshipping with the pastor, and of course, they become elders of that church. Now, here is the definition of elder, an older, influential member of a family, tribe, or community. Looking at this definition, we see that elders are an older or the oldest members of the church in which they have influence. A good example is your parents are your elders, which you respect. And in the church, this would be someone experienced in Christ that helps with the foundation of other churches as well as its own. Now, I know we would all agree that an elder can serve be an experienced person in Christ, but not necessarily an older person. Someone mature in the faith, it is certainly an elder. Is there any way to fix this fellowship problem? Well, first, I will say it again. Pastors need to be involved with everyone in their church. A pastor in the church should not preach a message and think they are done for the day. Pastors should have relationships outside of their elite group. Having relationships with an elite group does not make it become a true church, family, or ecclesia. I'm basically just saying pastors can have relationship with everyone in the congregation and walk in faith. The pastor can have family if they get to know all the members of their church. Also, members of one church should enjoy relationship with Christians outside of their own select or elite groups. Remember to show kindness to all because you never know if it might be an angel. Join me next time where we will discuss what is offense. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.